Let's talk about this weather. Vanessa in for Lonnie tonight. Rain's not quite over yet. Not quite yet. About another, mm, let's see, 18 hours or so, and then we should really be out of the rain and into the clearing skies. At the moment, it's not looking quite as awful out there. We have better visibility. It's 57, a cool and damp night moving forward. Damp, dreary, and cool for your Tuesday. We'll get a brief break of sunshine for your midweek, Wednesday and Thursday. But late Thursday, the showers return, and it could be another situation like today. Damp, dreary, and cool late Thursday into Friday. Full sunshine is anticipated Sunday and Monday. Right now, Saturday's up for grabs is whether or not it stays dry. Peak wind gusts today, 44 mile per hour gusts at LaGuardia in Montauk, 35. Central Park picked up a 32 mile per hour gust, and we're still registering a gust of up to 32 at this hour. It will stay breezy again tomorrow. We expect winds tomorrow to gust to 25, but they're persistently out of the northeast, and that means it's driving water into land. All the green on your screen, those are coastal flood advisories and statements, meaning during high tide cycles, some minor coastal flooding should still be expected through tomorrow night. Temperatures around the region right now are mid to upper 50s. It's pretty much a blanket statement. Visibility has improved quite significantly for most locations, exception being the island. We're still down to two and a half miles in the Hamptons. So fog has lifted for the moment. As far as total rainfall today, we picked up roughly another half inch in the city, another two and almost a half inches well northwest up in Sullivan County, and nearly two inches on the island. These are radar estimated rainfall totals and overnight through the day tomorrow, maybe another tenth of an inch as the remnants Ophelia continue to churn off of our coast, but it is late tomorrow into Wednesday. High pressure begins to roll, and that means we're going to dry out. So let's show you how things look. We're starting off tomorrow morning. Still damp and dreary. Mist and drizzle falling out there. Still breezy. High pressure builds in for the evening. We start to see clearing from the northwest to the southeast as high pressure forces the remnants of Ophelia away from us. But then as we make our way into Wednesday, it's looking really good dry. Thursday overall looking good, but watch. As this area of low pressure sinks to the south, we still We'll start to see some moisture flowing back in late Thursday. So Thursday into Friday looking unsettled again. Tonight, 56 degrees. Rain and drizzle continues. It's still breezy. Tomorrow, another cool, damp, and dreary day, 63. But again, some late clearing north and west of the city. And as a result of those clearing temperatures overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday, will be able to drop quite significantly. Low 40s north and west and 52 when you start your day Wednesday in the city. By Wednesday afternoon at 66, a mix of sun and clouds. Thursday overall looks good, 67. Late Thursday and Friday unsettled again. I think Friday is looking a little bleak. Mm. We're going to hope that changes. Saturday that might linger. Then Sunday and Monday looks beautiful, mid 70s and sun. Okay. It's like that guest that just stays a little bit too long <laughs> in the house. You know, you're try like, try to get please. them to move out and they just keep coming back. You just got to be explicit. Get out. And it doesn't quite work. It doesn't in work. Situation, though. Thanks, Thank Vanessa. you. All right. Be sure to tune into CBS 2 News this morning. Tomorrow morning, first thing for your first alert forecast. As we track the overnight rain, our coverage begins at 4 30 a.m.